What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with another rank style video. Today, we're looking at one of my personal favorite wrestlers in the world, Finn Balor. We got Finn Balor in the house. You got some demon figures, you got some non-demon figures, and I'll also go ahead and apologize if you got some like exposure problems going on behind me. I know I'm not taking up a big deal of the screen, but I know that that stupid ass window back there with the sun beaming through and the zebra print trying to cover it up, it doesn't really cover it up all that well, and it may be protruding a little bit, and I do apologize for any lighting issues that we may experience in this video, but today we're going to rank these figures anyway. I got all the Finn Balor figures right here. I think there's like 12 or 13 elites in total that we have gotten which is kind of ridiculous but in the order of it you guys know we got our tiers over here we got the go buy it tier we have the good figure tier the meh the barely acceptable and garbage i'll do a quick run through real quick if you guys have never been here if i put it in the go buy it section that means you probably need to look that hoe up and buy it it's that good it's just the top tier it's the best of the best go buy that figure underneath that you got good figure where it's like you know what it's good it's not like you know go buy it where there where it's like oh you better have this in your collection brad it's just good you know it's just a good solid football figure meh is like eh i guess it's okay barely acceptable is literally just one step before garbage it's like there's literally one thing about that figure that keeps it from getting in the garbage like it's that close and then garbage is just garbage that figure is not good there's something about it that's wrong maybe not accurate maybe like it's just got a bunch of problems with it and for that reason, it would be in the garbage. So that's pretty much our tiers. I got all the figures here. We're going to start on the right side just like we always do. And let's just go ahead and get into it, guys. We're starting things off with the ringside exclusive Finn Balor. Now, this one, when it first released, I was super hyped on it. I think it released in 2017. Could have been 2016, but I want to say it was like the beginning of 2017. And I really enjoyed this figure. The only thing I don't like about it is the head sculpt. Now, at the time, I thought it was good, but it was like the only non-demon head sculpt of Finn Balor that we had gotten besides like his NXT basic, I think. So I'm going to put it in good figure for now. It's pretty damn good. Like, God, I want to put go buy it, but then again, I don't. <sighs> Ah, jeez. I'm going to go buy it. I'm going to go go buy it. You know, it's got the black sleeve. It's a good Balor club. My nose is itching like a hobo. It's it's good. It's go buy it. It's go buy it. I'm going to go buy it. It could drop. We're going to put it and go buy it, and we're, and we're going to move on, okay? Next up, we do have the Top Talents 2019 Finn Balor in the Extreme Rules gear. I had a custom of this before we even got the Mattel release of it. And I like this figure a lot. I like the silver with it. You can do some really cool fix-ups with it. But the head sculpt is a head sculpt that we got on the freaking ringside exclusive. So, the, like, it released two or three years later, and it still had that same head sculpt on it, but in true effects, which, in all reality, I think made it worse, to be honest with you. I'm going to put it in good figure, even though I really like it. Like, you could easily head swap it. But for what it is, it comes with the rubber jacket, which the ringside exclusive also did. But I'm going to put it in good figure for now. But, I mean, it, let's be real. I'm a Finn Balor. I'm a huge Finn Balor fan, so... So to be real, all of them are go buy it for me. But I got to be realistic and I got to give you, you know, my unbiased opinion on this. I'm putting that one in good figure and I think that is okay for now. Next up, guys, is the SummerSlam figure. Now, this one, you guys are probably going to run into this a lot in this video. A lot of people, it doesn't bother. It does not bother them that he doesn't have the ripped up torso and everything. But for me, it's a huge problem. I don't, I don't know what it is. I just cannot stand Finn Balor figures that don't have the ripped up torso. I don't know if it's just... I, I just... I know he's not the biggest guy. He's like my size. He's like six foot maybe 190. I'm like six foot 175, 170. And so he, they may even increase his weight. I'm not sure. But he uh, he deserves to have that ripped up torso, man. He does his work in the gym. He, he eats right. He does the things that are supposed to be done right. And if I had a figure and I had a freaking six pack and it didn't have my six pack on it, I'd be pretty upset too, right? So on this one, it's a really good figure. I'm going to put in good figure. It's not go buy it because it does not have the ripped up torso. Now that is something that I will say, you know, it, 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 it that's just what it is for me. Still, I like the demon paid. It's a great moment. Universal champion got injured during the match, but dead gum, bro. I'm I'm really I'm literally this close to getting every demon Balor from Mattel and replacing it with a ripped up torso, and then just customizing the body paint or something just to make them accurate. I probably I, I've said that a lot. I, I need to do it. Next up, guys, we have the entrance grades. Now this is a go buy it for me. This is instant go buy it. I think this is entrance grade. No, this is. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what is, is this the entrance grates? I can't tell if this is the entrance grates. All right, guys, so next up, it seems I just noticed that I have the entrance grates on here twice. Now, this is the version that came with two-pack AJ Styles. This is the two-pack Elite Finn Balor that came. You guys know it came with, like, the non- whatever head. It came with the unpainted demon head. It also came with a chipped up body paint one. Now for me, this is barely acceptable because, you know, it comes with that unpainted fin head and it comes with an extra AJ Styles and the two sweet hands. So 
if it weren't for the, I don't know, like you're spending like $40, $50 on the two-pack to get the unpainted head sculpt and to get the two sweet hands on both the AJ Styles, and it's two basic re-releases, so it's like it's barely acceptable, I guess. I'm going to put that there, but again, I did put this on here twice, so I guess I got to put both of these in barely acceptable, or should I put them in meh? I really don't know what to do on this one, guys. To, uh, pfft, this sucks. I'm going to put them in barely acceptable for now. I'm putting the two packs, I'm putting the two pack of Leaf and Balor in the barely acceptable. I don't know how I put it in there twice, but I did. And I guess we'll just have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But the Elite 74, the figure that I dubbed the best figure of the year in 2019, that's an instant go buy. That's a go buy, bro. That is an instant go buy it. I love that figure so much. If I ever see it at retail, that's a buy. Comes with a leather cloth jacket that you can put on any Finn Balor figure. It's got the beautiful smiley Finn non-demon head sculpt. You got the Universal Championship attire. Didn't win the match. It was a great match. Didn't win the title. Very upsetting. But it also comes with interchangeable. It's just a beautiful attire too. You can do some cool fix-ups with it. I love it a lot. That's a that's a go buy. That's a top tier for me right now. That's the best Finn Balor to this to this point for me is the Elite 74. Now if we cut it back, guys. We have the Elite 60, or is it Elite 59? It may be Elite 59. Elite 59 Finn Balor, this is uh, supposedly, I think this is when Seth Rollins met the Demon on the Monday Night Raw Go Home Show before SummerSlam, before he went for the Universal Championship. And for me, oh man, this this is, this is, ooh, this is tough for me because it is a Demon Finn Balor, which I like. It does not have the ripped up torso. It's not a big moment. It's barely acceptable. I'm going barely acceptable just because it's the Demon Finn Balor. You know, it's not a big moment. Again, it's kind of a, like there's so many different demons they could have given us. They give us this one and it's not ripped up torso. It's just like, Jesus Christ, man. So I'm going to go barely acceptable for now, but I uh, you know, we could switch it up. We'll, we'll see about that. We'll just see. We'll see about it. Next up, guys, we have the Elite 70 Finn Balor. Now, this one's controversial for a lot of people, especially me. This is the Jack the Ripper Finn Balor. I was not big on the head sculpt. I was so hyped for this figure when they first showed it off, guys. Like, everybody knows this is probably one of my most disappointing figures releases that we've ever seen because I'm such a Finn Balor guy. I've been wanting this attire for so, so long. We finally get it. The red was way too dark. I love that it's the Jack the Ripper paint. It's one of my favorite paints, but the face paint was not really accurate. It had too much black in it, and it was kind of like mugged out. The, the the red was too dark, as we mentioned, and it's just, God, man, that, that really upset me, and I don't want to put it in barely acceptable, but I want to put it in meh, because I was so hyped. Like, this was such an instant buy for me. This was, like, top of the tier. Like, this could have been his best release ever, and then it just it just felt like they dropped the ball on it or something, and it just, it's meh. It's meh, but you know what? We'll go with it for now. Next up, guys, we have the Elite 46 Finn Balor, and this one is is, uh, this one, a lot of people, again, are gonna probably be upset with me about this, but Elite 46 Finn Balor, it doesn't have the ripped up torso. I didn't like how, like, the whole thing was practically black. It's just not, I guess it's one of those things that it probably looks better in a custom figure. I think BEW made a custom of this way back when, and I think it's a better figure as a custom than a Mattel figure because the paint is so saturated and on there that it looks like he has a red leg, you know? It looks like he has tights on his left leg or something, and, like, the torso paint, like, the abs look weird because it's painted skin tone over a black torso. It's just weird to me. I gotta put it in meh, and I, I, I don't know. It's just bleh. It doesn't do anything for me. I'm not a big... Like, I think in real life, like, the demon looked very sick. I was like, oh, Finn looks sick as hell. You know, ripped up torso. Another Finn that doesn't have a ripped up torso. It's just... I know, man. It's it's frustrating, like, if you, if you love these figures, because I know a lot of people love the demon fins, no matter what torso they have, but that's just not me, bro, and I, I don't want to give you guys a fake me just be oh, go buy it, man. Just go buy every one of them. No, that's not me, all right? You're gonna get an authentic ranking here from my own personal opinion and that's where I put it alright we have the Elite 40 Finn Balor Elite 40 Finn Balor that's a good figure right there it's the first Demon Finn Balor I remember picking that thing up at Toys R Us back in 2016 I think that was still when I was in college so I had a Toys R Us right across the street from my college so I was hitting that thing up all the time it may have been I think it was 2016 it was like late 2016 I went in there and I think it was still football season I think and so that was like fall 2016 I went up in there and I saw it on the shelf and I was like oh Oh, shit, Bird Brad. And I, I copped that figure, and I also bought... I think I also bought Lita from that set at the same time, I, if I'm not mistaken. I may even bought Ryback, too. Like, I, I copped, like, a bunch of them. That that Toys R Us used to have all the figures, man. They they would release them, and I'd go in there in, instantaneously just buy up those figures. So, shout-out to that Toys R Us, and shout-out to Toys R Us for closing forever. Uh, it still breaks my heart to this day. Next up, guys, is the Extreme... 
Next up, guys, we have the Entrance Greats Finn Balor, and this is a go buy it. It's a Demon Finn Balor. It's better than the Ringside Exclusive. You know, it's a Demon Finn Balor with the ripped up torso. And honestly, out of all elite Finn Balors in the Demon, this is the best one. It's the best one. Oh my God in heaven. I just realized I don't have the freaking Network Spotlight Finn Balor on here. Let Give me a sec. I gotta go add the, the Network Spotlight Finn Balor. All right, so there we go. We got the Network Spotlight in there. I don't know how. I guess when I was... I, I, I added all these figures to a folder for way back when before I even started to do this ranking video so I guess I just completely forgot to put it in there but what a stupid jackass next up guys we have the when we were talking about the entrance grades I was talking about I was like god I could have sworn there was more than just the, the the elite 70 and the entrance grades for ripped up Finn Balor elites and no duh it's because of the network spotlight which is a go buy it this is a go buy it now do I like it more than the elite 74 that's a tough one I do love it a lot I'm putting it at the top for now I think I like the elite 74 a little better than the entrance grades but the Network Spotlight in the NXT TakeOver Dallas, ooh, that is a good-ass figure, man. That's that's a go-buy right there. That's an Instacop. That is the go right there. Can't believe I forgot that, though. That makes me want to kick my own arse. But anyways, guys, diving back in here, we are on to the Top Talents, the first Top Talents figure in the WrestleMania 34 gear, and this is a good figure right here. I like this one a lot. I think it's, it's kind of difficult because I like the Extreme Rules gear better in the silver. But I like the head sculpt better over here. And I think... Ah, oh God, this is kind of difficult for me. Ha! This is literally just a trade of head sculpt over a tire. It's like they could literally flip and flop. I really don't care. I actually like... I think I like all these better than the demons right here because of the ripped up torso. Screw it. The first top talents was better because of the head sculpt. And finally, guys, we have the ultimate edition Finn Balor. Yes, it's kind of cheating a little bit, okay? It's kind of cheating a little bit because it's an ultimate edition. It is not an elite. But I had to put it in there. I did it with John Cena. I'm going to do it here with Finn Balor, and this is a go buy it, and I think it's the best one. It's the best one because you got the interchangeable head sculpts. you got the double-jointed arms. It's just a great figure, man. It's so fun to play around with, and I think this is a pretty accurate ranking on go buy it. Ultimate, Network Spotlight, Elite 74, Entrance Greats, then Ringside Exclusive. Good figure. you got Top Talents, Top Talents, Elite 40, Elite uh, SummerSlam down here Elite 46 and Elite 70 on Matt and then you have the Elite 59 and the two pack figures which are on barely acceptable now I think this is accurate I don't think there's any garbage Finn Balors as much as I dislike the Finn Balors that they messed up or that don't have the ripped up torsos they're still not garbage figures they're still really good really fun to pose around Finn Balor has a great move set and stuff not that I would know don't get to use them in the pick fed but that is pretty much my ranking of the Finn Balor Elite figures I, I again I love these videos so freaking much man if you guys want to see I guess down in the comment section below let me know if you want to see Undertaker, Kane, or Randy Orton next those are our th next three guys that we have available to do the ranking videos but I love these ranking videos they're super fun I get a lot of feedback on them I get a lot of people messaging me telling me they really enjoy the series so we're going to keep it going because I, I enjoy the doing them so uh, this is super fun for me and we're going to keep this going but thank you guys so very much for watching that is going to do it for my Finn Balor Elite Figure Rankings let me know how you would rank these guys down in the comment section below I'd really appreciate it subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys vote down below Undertaker Kane or Randy Orton and I will see you guys in the next video thank you